So, <laughs> uh, Christmas Carol at the Old Vic has been running for five years. Last year was yeah. in camera though, because of obvious reasons. I'm not going to say the P word. Um, but yeah, so this, uh, bringing it back this year has been quite a special thing for everyone in the building, I think, because even the staff, you know, from everyone from production to accounts have been here alone or working from home, you know, so to have singing back in the building and, and hearing the, the bell ringing and all that has been really lovely <laughs> yeah. for them too. It's become an old Vic tradition, I think mainly because of how much of a British tradition it is. The story of Scrooge, Dickens, we're right here in London where it all happens. I think it's such a timeless story and it sits so well in like a building like this. I mean, I've seen it every year. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like a super fan, aren't I? So when I got it, I was like, yes. Yeah, she, she was a stage door Johnny really before. No, like, I am <laughs> not. So, I don't know how she quite got in. Uh, a... I just really <laughs> love this show so much. <laughs> um, because of that, because yeah, I come every year. I and... had seen it three times. Before, yeah, he's so. saying that as if he's never seen it. <laughs> um, and I always sob and cry and laugh. And I think it couldn't be more Christmassy either. It's, yeah, it it's gets so you, festive. It really gets you in the mood. So I play Bob Cratchit, um, father to Tiny Tim. I'm playing the, the uh, role of the ghost of Christmas present. Um, and I'm also uh, doing a bit of Mrs. Fezziwig as well, which is lovely. So I play Little Fan, who is Scrooge's sister. Um, I think I'm allowed to say, as it's the fifth year, but she actually does come back as the the final ghost so she's the ghost of christmas future so yeah it's an that's amazing... not your favorite part though what's your other part that you play that you really like <laughs> sorry but i do actually have to play his child at one point as an ensemble <laughs> i think that's just saying he looks quite old doesn't it <laughs> yes, well. um but no <laughs> you know, i have to play his child just a few years old so, oh god The Stephen Mangan. The Mangan. We yeah. love Stephen Mangan. We very much like um, him, yeah. He's brilliant. Oh my goodness. Uh, Stephen has an amazing way um, of, I think because of the way this show is, it's not just line to line, actor to actor. We have to break the full fall in many, 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 many times during this show. Um, and he has uh, a great ability to bring the audience in uh, when that needs to happen. I don't want to give away any spoilers. Then we get this beautiful transformation at the end when you see his heart start, it starting to turn and the, the warmer, softer bits. He's just, you know, he's, he's very, very good at what he does and the audience is really warm to him, so it's lovely. It's an, it's an honour to be on stage with him. Um, you want to go first? Or shall I? Yeah, you I'll might. go first because I'm meaner. Um, <laughs> I, uh, it's been amazing. Like. I love the old bit. I love this show. And then to get to do it with Rose is is amazing. Like we have a lot of banter and we joke about you know, how it's awful and we hate each other and uh, seeing <laughs> seeing each other. We entertain the cast with that every day. But like it, you know, it has been a tough few years uh, for everyone and for personally for us too. So like to be able to be in a show that brings people so much joy and to do that together has been quite a a wonderful thing and you know Rose is very very good in the show as much as I would never say that. <laughs> oh my goodness I think for me uh, Christmas is a very very important and special time for me um, uh, in terms of my faith and my family and my home and and you know this to be on stage singing these songs that I grew up singing at church I grew up singing in school assembly I don't know if people have school assemblies anymore <laughs> but you, all of these carols are like embedded in your body embedded um, in what you think and feel about Christmas and the, you know, the joy of it and, and the hope that it keeps bringing. Um, and if there's ever a time that we needed a bit of hope and a mince pie and a satsuma <laughs> and all the other things that come with it, this, this is the time. No, what about you? Hate it? Hate yeah, it. terrible. Yeah. Um, no, I literally am the most Christmassy person oh. you could possibly imagine. So it's getting so to do... <laughs> I had to surrender. It's my birthday next week. Normally I don't do Christmas until after that, but this year I have no chance. Yes. October we started. No. So I've been going full out since then. So She's got a Christmas tree in her dressing room. I have. It's full on. Um, <laughs> so I think to do, to, so it's my favourite time of year, to do it with my big Favourite brother. person of the year. Uh, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> to do it with my big brother. And 
I've never worked at the Old Vic, so that was quite a big deal for me. And in this show that I love, after this crazy few years of not working as an actor for two years, it's been for me. So to come back doing this has been quite the special thing, really. Well, yeah, it couldn't have been better, really. It's so fun. And he is also quite good. Thank so. you, thank you.